Ahead of PCI DSS 3.0 being released in September, the Security Standards Council has given us a sneak peek. And the highlights they've released, they've identified three key themes. Uh, the first is that there'll be more focus on education awareness around the new and evolving threatscape. Second, organizations will be given more flexibility on how to mitigate uh, those threats. And then third, there'll be more focus on the shared responsibility for security. And of course, that's important as organizations adopt more cloud services. So what are some of the, the key changes that we can expect as it relates to securing and protecting keys and certificates? Well, first off, we can see in requirement number two that organizations will need to be able to complete a, a full inventory of all components that fall under scope. And of course, that will include keys and certificates. And there may be places that organizations haven't been inventorying or reporting uh, keys and certificates uh, under PCI DSS. Uh, next, under uh, requirement number three, organizations will be given more flexibility uh, for how they secure and protect uh, keys and certificates, uh, including things like uh, shared knowledge and split keys. Uh, next, in requirement number five, uh, organizations will have to evaluate security and threats in places they haven't been, uh, places where uh, malware has been known now to infect, where attackers are looking to insert themselves. Uh, and of course, Forrester in the recent research identified that keys and certificates are being increasingly used by attackers because it allows them trusted status, it allows them to cloak themselves, and allows them to evade detection of new uh, advanced threat protection systems that organizations are investing in. And then when it comes to requirement number eight, organizations will be given increased flexibility for using different types of authentication mechanisms. Um, there'll be more specificity given there. Uh, and the Security Standard, uh, Standards Council does call out the use of certificates. So what can organizations uh, do to prepare and what Venify customers have already been doing? Well, they can create a complete inventory of their use of keys and certificates. And that's just not network scanning, but that's performing uh, deep scanning on systems uh, with agents to identify all keys and certificates that might fall under scope. Then next, establishing policies and then enforcing them. Uh, and that allows you not only to reduce your risk, but also then to detect anomalies uh, as they uh, pop up uh, and then to remediate them. So Venify will be at the Security Standards Council meeting uh, in September in Las Vegas, and we look forward to reporting more on the, uh, the new specification in DSS 3.0. Thank you.